Hello everybody, and welcome back to Wargroove. So, it's uh, been a little bit. I've just been lazy, that's, that's all it is. Uh, so yeah, let's hop right back into it with our next mission. It's the second side mission we've got access to. A savage history, and a Bastriota tries to explain himself. May I speak with you? I don't remember the voice I did for him. Did someone say something? Okay, come uh, on, Nuru. Go ahead, Riot. I uh, wish to apologize. Please forgive me. I hope deeply that you, Nuru, can forgive my misguided prejudice. Maybe. Keep talking. I've only met one of your kind before. Sedge. A Florin known as said. See, I know somebody who's going to be really happy about this. Pine, because I know you're the only consistent view. You're the only person I know who consistently watches. I know you said before that you were like, oh, I can't wait for Sedge to be the cause behind it. I, I mean, I know it's not like it. It's not exactly subtle with the way they foreshadow that, but still, I'm sure you'll be happy about that. What? Sedge, I'm nothing like that creeper. Yes. I realise that now. How do you even know that, Jack? <laughs> I met him several months ago. I don't remember ever seeing a text box like that. That's cool. <laughs> Who goes there? Do you see Gade? <laughs> Seek aid. <laughs> you are not in need? Yes. Oh yes. Poor Sedge is in need. In need of a snack. Oh, that was a, that was a clean little blade. What? Sir, I don't understand. <laughs> Poor pretty soldier boy. Can't see the wolves at his door. Step back. This is sovereign. This is sovereign territory. I'm afraid you must leave. You're afraid? How very sensible of you. And just in case uh, you didn't already feel bad for Ryota, because we know what Sedge is like, he has to lose this fight because we play as Sedge. Yeah, that's right. You thought that we always played as, you know. Some of the more understandable good guys, or, or understandable bad guys, and all the good guys. No, 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 no. We get to play as literally just like the most sadistic hunter there is. Where are those delicious looking soldiers? It is a mistake to challenge the might of Heaven Song. You will be defeated. Oh, dude. I really uh, wouldn't be so sure about that. This is a nice small map. Although, to be fair, he does have a very good starting advantage. Look at that. Makes sense, to be fair. Send this soldier over there. Sedge can work on capturing these. All belongs to, Sedge. to be fair, I really like Sedge's groove, so I'm glad that we get to actually play as him. An archer and an oak. Okay. It all belongs to Sedge. It all belongs to Sedge. His voice sounds different in, in the game compared to how it does in the cutscenes. Let's keep booking it over here, and as always, just make a bunch of bodies to throw at problems. It's worked so far for us, you know. Air units already? Come on, man. Do I have the money to invest in an alchemist? I don't need to, so it's in position. Just about. Oh. Sorry, it's a, it's a. What were they called in this? Shaman. Okay, that makes sense. Say, I must get the name, the unit names right. It'd be very improper to not. theme is really good. I wonder if we get dragons in this mission. We still don't get giants. 
very unfair, if you ask me, but whatever. All belongs to Sedge. Sedge, do you not have more than one capture line? Come on then. If we get access to dragons, this mission could be very easy. up a bit more. This is a good time to remember that even though you'd think it, the flying units can't actually go over walls. And again, I know I said it before, I still don't understand why, but uh, you know, it's a thing, so. Pretty cool theme. It's very fitting for his character as well. God, if they manage to build some trebuchets and get him in here, I'm gonna be in some serious trouble. Some, if you notice in some of their animations, there's some very uh, anime-inspired attacks, shall we say. So easy. Why do you delight in such destruction? <laughs> that is far enough, creature. <laughs> Sedge disagrees. He does indeed. Let's book it, mate. Capturing this tower was probably a mistake. I doubt I'm going to ever be able to invest in it, really. Another line of pikemen should do. That makes me end my turn manually every time. If that's a crit, I will be very upset. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like I could tell. But anyway, yeah, anime inspired. I'd say Sedge's is pretty obvious because he literally does the classic teleports behind you. But uh, if you notice with Koji's, his is pretty similar. Uh, this was a very poor choice to uh, move in, I'm going to be honest. At least we get to freely take out the half thing, that's good at least. Sedge is going to run away now. No, don't. Do not be greedy, just back up. Unfortunately, we can't get in a position to crit this, but we could still kill if we roll decently. No kill, but that's fine. It's basically the same as killing, let's face it. One, two, three, four, yeah, okay. There's no way I can get into having him attack the archer. So we'll just weaken the alchemist. Even if this guy dies, the damage we did is a good trade off. Start coming back. Usually, we want a wagon. And I'll just put another slasher. Yeah, there we sort of saw that one coming. It makes sense. This still shouldn't do a lot, right? I mean, I know he's very effective against swordsman, but he does no damage, yeah, okay, good. The alchemists will probably do more. Sorry, thunder bears. Yeah, the unit archetype is a mage. 
that alchemists are just cherry stone mages. Is that another ballista? Why does the AI love ballistas so much? I don't understand it. Bye bye. Question mark? Yeah, bye bye. Heal Sedge back up and then send him back in there. Let's just make this guy be a distraction. Alchemists don't do great against each other, but hey, that one was weakened enough that it did enough. Look what's going on down here. Yeah, okay, I'll make my own dog, but on the one that's further back because they won quicker than normal soldiers. Damn, I, I didn't think he'd actually go and kill that with Ryota, so I'm just feeding him Groove. Oh shit, he's got his Groove, okay. Oh, that could be dangerous. Just like this. We learned that dogs really don't do as well against Alchemists as they feel like they ought to, though, so we should be alright. Mages! Oh, he's dead, though. Yeah, no, okay, I didn't think he'd be able to get both of them in there. It's fine. It was a good trade for him. I need some faster units. Wait, did they attack the full health one? Why wouldn't they attack the weakened one? Oh, they probably couldn't reach him. That's probably why. Uh, well, I guess I'm not the only one feeding uh, kills. <laughs> Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> As we can see, Sedge's groove takes a long time to charge, but trust me when I say that's for a good reason. There we go, that's much better. Sure, our pipemen are weaker, but it really does help turn things back in their favour. Wagon move. Bam. That was a smart play, I think. God, his theme really gets going if you can listen to it for long enough. Jesus. We're not building anything else. Dude, his th I didn't realize that his theme had got so much more complex. You are already dead. Oh, that was not a great maneuver on my part, I must admit. I really set him up, but on the plus side, he's now isolated from his army, so if we just rush all of our forces over there, we should be able to go and uh, mess him up. Still didn't get Sedge's groove, man. What does it take? I know what it takes, but still, Sedge, why is your groove so hard to charge, man? Okay. Need to start moving things into position. Try and keep him pinned on this side of the map so that his units have a harder time getting to him. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is Mexican can move. Okay, we don't want to use the wagon for this. I'm not stupid, I did notice that he built one of his Tengus, one of his air units. So let's get another Shaman in. I don't know, maybe sending all my forces over here is a bit foolish. Attacked by it this turn, which means we're safe to do this. Well, relatively safe. This <laughs> is Groove is ready. I know we've had Sedge's. We've seen Sedge's Groove in the past. Kind of. We haven't actually seen him use it, but we've seen what it does. Yeah, he's going to get attacked by the ranged units. But I don't think any of the melee units are going to attack him, and even if they do, it won't do too much to him. So. I'll cut you down. It's fine. He can take out the soldiers. I don't really care. Yeah, there's the flying unit. It's probably a kill for this side. Sedge's groove is really. Dude, he sounds like the fucking Joker. I just realized that with that laugh. Sedge can assassinate enemies that are close to death. <laughs> if Sedge's target dies, Sedge's turn doesn't even end. <laughs> okay, I love how just completely out of anything that was. Sedge so. hungers! Yep, yeet. <laughs> and he can just keep going, which lets me get all the way down to here and start wrestling with this. Can he sadistic rush? He can sadistic rush air units? That doesn't even make sense. I love it. I don't know why a dog unit can do up to 50% to a ballista, but fuck it, I'm happy with that. Let's go, Sedgy boy. Set this thing up to die to you next turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that you can reach it even from there, that's pretty impressive. It doesn't do a lot because he's in a forest, but you know. We just have to be smart and bait him into coming out of the forest, that's all it'll take. Stand there so that he doesn't try and get out this way. Can't heal Sedge this turn, which is a shame. It probably goes down to try and pick on Sedge, so we need to move this as far as we can. I'm going to send the wagon in and use it to drop the soldier in a position that makes him a more promising target for the archer than the uh, alchemist, and just hope that works. I need to build up something bigger, so let's just build two soldiers this turn and call it a day. 
Tej is kind of isolated in his territory, but there's not too much going on, so we should be alright. Might need to retreat Sedge again, but the wagon should be close enough that we can bail if we need to. Oh fuck, that Tengu gets a crit. I know this doesn't kill, at least. Oh. Well, I made Rio have to leave the forest. Okay, whatever. We're gonna pull back. We can't get Rio, so this was a big overcommitment. He's got his groove again. Jeez. Of course, what else would the ballista attack but the wagon? Whew. Okay, if that thing had got to him, we could have been in some serious trouble. Still. What's your step? We'll just take this thing out for free. <laughs> One, two, three, four, Gormor. Cool. Send him running away. I'm surprised that does so little. Still, weakening the ranged units is very important. Sure, we'll do this. It doesn't kill the archer, but it makes it literally a non-issue. And let's face it, this slasher is dead anyway, considering how low its health is. Sedge, you can uh, get out of there. Our own cavalry. No, no, the slasher. Kaboom. Yeah, doing this level reminds me Wargroove 2 currently has a demo out uh, because of the Steam Next Fest. I had a uh, go on one of the uh, one of its conquest runs which is like a roguelike mode which is cool because I like roguelikes um, it seemed like a lot of fun there's some interesting changes in it uh, which I assume carry over for the whole thing and not just for the roguelike mode like um, groove your groove charge is now gained by all of your units dealing damage and you know killing things and stuff not just your commander which is interesting that's more like how advanced wars does it uh, also, battle animations, your units don't like stop and sort it, it's hard to explain, but in the animations in Wargroove 1 in this game, you notice how the units all sort of stop before they attack, so they sort of all get onto the screen and then then they'll perform their attack. Whereas in Wargroove uh, 2, the defending unit appears and stops, but the attacking unit just charges across the screen straight into the enemy. Uh, it doesn't stop and sort of marshal its forces. Like, it, it makes sense, I don't think there's really a reason to not do it like that, but uh, it, it does just feel a little weird because I'm so used to how the animations work here. You know, I said I was pulling back, it doesn't seem like I'm doing that, does it? Quagmots are cute. I know they're not actually dogs, but still they're cute. No, we don't need to heal because Sedge is going to uh, reinforce this turn. We'll keep the wagon on standby to run him back in. Need 
another pikeman I reckon it's worth uh, not building another slasher this turn. We've got plenty of them coming in. Yeah, it's about what I expected. I'm sorry, dogs. I really don't make good use of dogs. I just don't know how you're meant to use them, you know? Yeet. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, damn. Alright, Sedge. Load up, let's get you back in there, son. Don't let him back into the mountains. That was the whole problem that we had last time. It's why our offensive fell flat. Hopefully he takes the bait and steps off it to either attack or try and charge. If he charges it would be really stupid because he'll literally just charge that. Unless... He might try and charge through there, so we don't want to set up any units that might get hit by that. Nice. Lower his income, increase ours. Not bad. I love the force that they throw those lances with, it's so cool. I have to go over here to do the capture because if I stay on either of these two points he can charge through. But I don't want that, so... It means this alchemist is probably dead. So we'll probably want to build a new one soon. But... And I've got plans for what I, what, what I want to do next turn. It's definitely ain't over. We saw him escape from what seemed like he was surrounded already. <laughs> nah, you're still dead, man. Eh, the free, I guess the free defense probably does it for him. You are already dead. <laughs> okay. I didn't see that dash coming. See, this is... Uh, I cannot plan out Ryota's dash in my head. He's really good at being able to just completely bamboozle me. I mean, fair play. It's, it's good. I should also probably stop feeding him with so many low health units. That probably, you know, makes it a lot easier for him. Statistic rush this, we can use it not only to take out, like, out the dog, but to also get Sedge a little more movement. And he could actually attack Ryota now. He's got an air unit on the way, which isn't great. See, if you went more into air units, I think you could probably do a nice sneak attack around here, but at this point I think it's too late to actually get good use out of them. Yeah. 
there. He comes off much better out of this engagement than I do. Sure, we deal similar amounts of damage, but I'm on a lower starting health. Still, we're kind of cornering him, so it works out. Yeah, I should have done it that way. Whatever. Again, this is this is a particularly good trade because we're so injured and attacking with such high defense terrain. But weakening the archer is a good use of a slasher. Again, if you think about it, you know a slasher is costs five times less than a shooter. So if you deal damage, you've effectively done five times the economical damage. Something like that makes sense in my head. Of a charm and double charm, it means that it doesn't matter if we lose one again. With just him and a Tengu on the field, this isn't going to be too hard. Yeah, ironically, this is even a great showcase of what Sedge's groove can do, really. Because Sedge's groove uh, does well on a bigger battlefield where there's lots of enemies that are left on low health so you can just carve through them all. And this obviously does not let you do that. Oh, hey, I didn't realise that. I didn't notice it when I uh, healed Sedge over here, but it takes health from both buildings equally to reinforce. That's cool. That makes sense. Let that guy do what he wants. Again, I love that you can fucking sadistic rush air units. It doesn't make any sense, but we love it anyway. Oh yeah, we're going for that crit. See, I still don't completely understand how Knight's crit works. I thought it was you had to do it in a straight line, but that was a big L shape and it worked there too. So I don't entirely know what it is, but hey. I don't need to know it, I just need to be able to use it. Cool. I'm confident enough we're going to kill him on this next turn, so I'll end turn. Yeah, man, you do that. It's really gonna hurt. Oh no! Oh wow! <laughs> In minus two defense terrain as well. No, oh, no, you're not getting away, mate. Sadistic. What's your step? See, the thing that makes it so good as well is it means you can't even body block with uh, low with low health units anymore because Sedge can just carve through them. That I think is one of the most powerful effects of it. Because as I say, we've been able to in several missions ourselves, we've been able to body block with our injured troops. And it's been a very effective tactic. But you can't do that versus Sledge because he just cleaves through them. Okay, so we didn't get him this turn, but we'll get him on the next turn. Stand here so he can't escape. I mean, he's low enough health now that I can actually sadistic rush him, which is hilarious. This way we can basically guarantee a pikeman crit because there's no way he can kill two of them. So even if we can't sadistic rush him like I want to, we can always just pikeman crit him again to kill him. No, what are you doing? Stop sacrificing your dogs! 
It's not worth it then. The poor little those do to you. Yeah, I'm fairly certain we can sadistic rush this turn. As it turns out, I probably could have done this together with the uh, previous side mission in a two-parter, but hey, how was I to know? See, I can't kill him with the basic attack, but he still only has 32% health, you can see in the bottom right. So I get to sadistic rush to finish him off. <laughs> sadistic rush does damage. Uh, it re regardless of Sedge's health or the unit's defense, it's just a flat 35 damage. The pretty soldier boy was no match for Sedge. No. You have defeated these men, but Heaven Song will not fall to you. <laughs> Heaven Song. Sedge doesn't care about Heaven Song. Only these sweet and succulent soldiers. You're a monster. Yeah, accurate. Yes. <laughs> At least Sedge knows what he is. I mean, hey, fair enough. Respect to you owning it, dude. I guess. Yes, a ravenous monster. And do you know the worst thing about ravenous monsters? <laughs> they always come back for seconds. <laughs> He fucking laughs like the Joker, dude. We've gone back to back to the future. Sorry, Rieta. That sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like Sedge. <laughs> it was a crushing defeat by a villainous foe. You gave quite a strong fight, to be fair, Rieta. Don't don't discredit yourself. Clearly, the memory of it has marred my judgment. Well, Sedge can leave quite an impression. No. That was no reason for me to. I apologise without reservation. I won't let myself be so blinded again. Now I know you... I Now I... Uh, uh, okay. Now I know you. I have nothing but the deepest respect for you, Hunter Nuru. You. And and for you too, Queen Mercy. Sim, down bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, enough with all the mushy stuff. We're cool. That worked out. Yeah, I did that mission pretty slow. I'm surprised it was only a B rank, honestly. I expected I'd get like a C rank for that, because that was pretty slow. But hey, I got three stars on it the first time I did it. I probably managed to catch him after he used one of his charges. So, hey, that's good. Cool, so I'd love to do some codex reading in this one, but unfortunately, you might remember we already unlocked Sedge's additional lore back in one of the uh, Florin missions over here. Uh, and so. The only thing you unlock from doing that side mission is that you can play Sedge in the arcade, and well, I'm not doing arcade, so it's not like it matters. But, uh, yeah, no codex reading for us. But, uh, yeah, as I, said, as I said earlier, I did play the Wargroove 2 demo. Uh, I'm not gonna, it only has Conquest and uh, some multiplayer matches. I don't really do multiplayer. Uh, and, uh, what do you call it? Hang on, please hold. And the conquest mode, while it's cool, still needs a bit more refinement. Um, so I'm probably not going to do any videos on that. Uh, but you know when Wargroove 2 comes out, I will definitely be doing stuff on it. It's free campaigns, because it's going to start with, out with free campaigns, which will be awesome. Uh, not for free, as in number free, unfortunately. Uh, you know, everything costs money. <laughs> but I'll happily buy it. As I say, the, the demo is good. They also did some sort of interesting changes on the commander's grooves. And if you've seen the uh, thing, they've basically added the Advance Wars superpowers. So your CO's groove can now charge to 200%. So you know you really can just turn it up to 11, and that lets you uh, do a, basically a super groove that's much stronger than your base groove. It's cool. Uh, so yeah, we'll have that to look forward to. With the rate I'm getting through these, <laughs> it might release before I finish the main campaign. But uh, as I said, I'm fairly certain we're through the majority, maybe? I don't know, there's quite a lot of side missions in this last in this last one. It's it's possible. <laughs> I think we've, we've done more than 50%, but I guess it remains to be seen. Cool. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and have a good one. <laughs>